Max has abilities. In regards to Snack, for perception, Max is able to see items within 5 feet of him and can fully hear any given directions from his teacher. Manipulation. Due to Max's weak grip, he has difficulty carrying the snack materials. Max also has difficulty holding and manipulating eating utensils. His right arm has a range of motion of 25 degrees, whereas his left arm has a range of motion of 130 degrees. For positioning, Max requires using shoulder straps when sitting in his wheelchair to remain in an upright position. Max also needs assistance transferring on and off the toilet and needs stability assistance when on the toilet. For mobility, Max uses a wheelchair throughout the day and he cannot move his wheelchair on his own. Max's abilities in the recreation activity. Perception. Max can see symbols on the playing cards within 10 inches. He has the ability to fully hear people around him and enjoys listening to his peers. Manipulation. Due to Max's weak grip, he has difficulty holding playing cards. His right arm has a range of motion of 25 degrees, whereas his left arm has a range of motion of 130 degrees. This makes it difficult for him to deal out and reach for more cards. Positioning. Max requires using shoulder straps when sitting in his wheelchair to remain in an upright position. Mobility. Max uses a wheelchair throughout the day and he cannot move his wheelchair on his own. Task demands for the snack. The first step is to go to the restroom. In order to do this, for the perception demands, the student must be able to hear the teacher tell you to go to the restroom and line up. See the line for the lineup and then sign for the restroom. Then for the physical demands involving positioning, the student must be able to stand upright in the line and stand up to get into the line. For the physical demands of mobility, the student must be able to walk to the line and must be able to walk to the bathroom. There are no manipulation demands in this step. The next step is to wash hands and use the toilet if needed. In order to do this for perception, the student must be able to see the correct gender bathroom to go into, the toilet and stall if needed to use it, the toilet paper, the flush valve on the toilet, the sink, the hot and cold handles, the soap dispenser, the paper towel dispenser, and the garbage can. For the physical manipulation demands, the student must be able to wash hands, which means that the student must turn the faucet on, put your hands under the water, put soap onto your hands, lather your hands together, rinse the soap off your hands, dry your hands with a paper towel. For the toilet, you must be able to lock the bathroom stall, wipe when you are finished going to the bathroom, flush the toilet, unlock the bathroom stall. For the physical demands of positioning, the student must be able to position your body over the sink, position yourself close enough to the paper towel holder. For the toilet, the student must be able to stand in line, position yourself on the toilet, use bar handles if needed to for balance, lift yourself off the toilet. For physical demands in terms of mobility, the student must be able to walk to the sink, walk to the paper towel holder. For the toilet, the student must be able to walk to the bathroom, walk to the stall, walk to the sink, walk back to the classroom. The next step for this is to return to the classroom. For the perception demands, the student must be able to see the hallway where the line is up. Hear the teacher say to walk back quietly, if the teacher does do this. See the classroom sign door number. For the physical demands in terms of manipulation, um, the student may use hands to pull or push a door open. In terms of the physical demands of positioning, the student must be able to maintain balance and upright position while lining up in the hallway and walking back to the class. In terms of the physical demands of mobility, the student must be able to walk him back to the class from lying up in the hallway outside of the bathroom. The next step for the snack activity is to grab ingredients for the trail mix and the supplies for the snack. Uh, for the receptive demands, the student must be able to hear the teacher say to get the snack see the materials for the snack and see the table. For the manipulation, the student must be able to use hands to pick up each ingredient and carry it back to the table, then set the ingredients down on the table. In terms of positioning, the student must be able to maintain balance and 
an upright position while walking, then maintained balance while bending over to get the materials, then transitioned to sitting in a chair at the table for the next activity. For mobility, the student must be able to walk to the student bin and grab ingredients and walk back to the table. The next step of this activity is to sit at a table and make a snack. There are no demands for this as they are listed in the previous step. The next step is to open all the ingredients. The uh, perceptive demand is to see the ingredients, how to open them, and to see recipe. For the manipulation, the student must be able to use hands to open the ingredients. And for the positioning, the student must transition from standing to sitting, maintain balance, and stay upright and sitting in a position in a chair. There are no mobility needs for this step. The next step is to measure out one cup of each ingredient and to put in the mixing bowl. For the receptive demand, the student must see the cup, see the ingredients, see the line where the cup is, see the mixing bowl to put the ingredients in, then see each ingredient to do this for. For the manipulation, the student must be able to use hands to pour ingredients into measuring cup, set the ingredients back down, pick up the measuring cup, turn hand to dump the ingredients in the measuring Measuring cup, turn hand to dump the ingredients in the measuring cup into the mixing bowl. Do this for all ingredients. The student must be able to um, The next step is to use a spoon to scoop some trail mix into the individual bowl. For the perception needs, a student needs to see the trail mix in the mixing bowl, the individual bowl, and the spoon. For the manipulation needs, the student must be able to pick up the spoon and hold it, manipulate the hands to scoop the trail mix in the spoon, then use a hand to carry the spoon over to the individual bowl and dump the trail mix in. For the positioning, the student must be able to maintain balance and stay upright in a sitting position in the chair. There are no mobility needs for this step. The next step is to eat the snack with good manners. For perception, the student must be able to hear conversations among the group. For the manipulation needs, the student must use hands to pick up a spoon to scoop small spoonfuls of trail mix. For the positioning, the student must be able to maintain a sitting position while upright in the chair. There are no needs for mobility. The next step in this activity is to clean place. For perception, the student must be able to hear the teacher say it is cleanup time, see the napkins, and wipe up the table. For the manipulation, the student must be able to grab napkins and use hands to hold napkins while wiping off the table. For positioning, the student must be able to transition from sitting to standing, maintaining an upright position while walking to grab napkins possibly maintaining balance while leaning forward to wipe off the table. For mobility, the student must be able to walk from the table to grab the napkins and walking back to the table, then walk back to the garbage can to throw out the napkins. For the next step, the student must clean up the snack materials. For perception, the student must be able to see the ingredients and materials, the labels on the student bins and put the ingredients and materials away, and the storage container for leftover snack to be put in. For the manipulation, the student must be able to use hands to close the ingredients, then pick up the ingredients and materials to carry them back to the bin and be placed inside. They must also be able to pick up in the storage container and bring to the table, use a scoop to scoop the leftover snack into the container, and then carry the container to the bin to put away. For positioning, the student must be able to maintain an upright position with, with balance while walking to put the materials away and also ha have a maintain balance while bending over to grab the bin and put the materials away. For <coughs> mobility, the student must be able to walk from the table to the bins to put the materials and ingredients away, then walk back to the table and grab the leftover snack and put away and walk it back to the bins.
These are some problems we have identified the student will have while completing the snack activity. In regards to perception, the student can hear and see within five feet away. The student cannot see recipes from more than 10 inches away. The student can see recipes and mixing bowls within five feet and can see lines on measuring cups within 10 inches. In regards to manipulation, the student can turn on the sink, put hands under the water, get soap, lather soap, rinse and dry their hands and flush the toilet. The student cannot lock and unlock the stall, wipe or pull down his pants or pull up his pants. The student cannot push or pull open the door. He cannot hold materials for that long because of his weak grip. He cannot open ingredients. He can pour ingredients into measuring cups and set ingredients on the table and dump ingredients into the mixing bowls. He cannot pick up the spoon and hold it, scoop trail mix with the spoon, or dump trail mix from spoon into individual bowls. He also cannot pick up spoon and scoop small portions of the trail mix to eat. He can grab napkins and wipe the table, and he cannot close ingredients, pick up the ingredients or materials to be carried back to the bin. He also cannot scoop the leftover snack into the container and carry that back to the bin. In regards to positioning, the student cannot stand up or independently move his wheelchair into the line. He cannot position his body over the sink um, and the paper towel dispenser. He cannot position himself on the toilet and use bars for balance or lift himself off the toilet. He cannot maintain balance while standing and walking. He cannot transition from sitting to standing. He cannot maintain balance in his chair. He cannot maintain upright position while walking to grab napkins and wiping the table. In regards to mobility, the student cannot walk and he needs assistance moving his wheelchair. <clears throat> the features that will be needed in regards to perception are a feature that will enhance the user's ability to see smaller text by enlarging the text. In regards to manipulation, the student will need a feature that enhances the user's ability to grip the lock and unlock the stalls. He needs a feature that will enhance his ability to grab his pants and pull up and down. He needs a feature that will enhance his ability to wipe himself. He needs a feature that will replace the task of pushing or pulling the door with instead pressing a button. He needs a feature that will make it easier for him to bring materials to and from the designated areas. He needs a feature that will enhance his ability to open and close ingredients in the jars. And he needs a feature that will make it easier to hold the spoon and maneuver it. In regards to positioning, the student will need features that will make it easier to move and position his body in a way that will support independence in the bathroom. He needs a feature that will make it easier for him to get on and off the toilet and he needs a feature that will enhance his ability to maintain an upright position while sitting in his wheelchair and a feature that will enhance his ability to clean the table while in his wheelchair. In regards to mobility, the student needs a feature that will enhance his ability to move around. This is the Easy Grip Opener. This tool enhances the user's ability to open jars. To use this, you grab the Easy Grip Opener, place it on top of the jar, and twist like so.
This is an adaptive spoon holder. This tool replaces the need to grip a spoon by strapping it to your wrist. To use this tool, the user must place the tool around their wrist and tighten the Velcro strap. Then you take your spoon or utensil and stick it in to the designated slot. Scoop away. <laughs> This is an adaptive zipper pull. This tool makes it easier to pull up and down your pant zipper. To use this, you will attach this little hook on the hole of your zipper and pull up or down. Zip! It can be used to zip anything with the zipper. These are the task demands for our recreation activity, Go Fish. The first step is go to at least two peers and ask them to play a game. For perception, hear the teacher say it is game time. See the friends that will be asked and hear their responses in conversation. There are no manipulation demands. For positioning, stand upright and maintain balance. Or sit upright if still in the chair and don't have to walk to ask peers. Transition from sitting to standing. For mobility, walk to the table where the friends are to talk to them. The next step is go to card and game shelf. For perception, see the card and game shelf and the cards that are needed to play. There are no manipulation demands. For positioning, stand upright and, and maintain balance while bending over to get cards. For mobility, walk to the card and game shelf. The next step is choose a game and take it to the table. For perception, you need to see the cards and the table to take the cards back to. For manipulation, use hands to grab the cards, hold them, and carry them back to the table. For positioning, maintain balance while standing upright. You might have to maintain balance while bending over to get the cards. Once at the table, transition from standing to sitting. For mobility, walking to the card and game shelf and then back to the table. The next step is to play the game, and first you need to shuffle the cards. For perception, see the cards, feel the cards, see the deck split into two halves, and hear conversations. For mani manipula manipulation, use hands to split the deck into two halves and to make a bridge and shuffle them together. For positioning, maintain balance while slightly leaning forward in a sitting position to be able to shuffle cards onto the table. There are no mobility demands. The next step is deal seven cards per person and each player picks up their pile. For perception, feel the cards in your hands, see the cards, the different piles of cards for each player, and see seven cards in each pile, and hear conversations. For manipulation, use the hands to hold the cards, grab one card off the pile at a time, and place it into a player's pile. Then do this again until each player has seven cards in their pile. For positioning, maintain balance while leaning forward in a sitting position to be able to place cards on the table in front of each player. There are no mobility demands. The next step is match any pairs, if you have any, in your card pile. Perception demands are see the card numbers, if any of the numbers match, and where to put any matches you hear. Also, hear conversations. For manipulation, use the hands to pick up and hold cards facing you, grab any cards that match and place them on the table next to you. 
For positioning, sit in an upright position while maintaining balance. There are no mobility demands. The next step, if there are repairs, grab how many more cars if needed to have seven cars in your pile at all times. For perception, see any more cards that are needed and the deck of cards in the middle to grab more cards from and hear conversations. For manipulation, use the hands to hold cards while counting if more are needed. Pick up any additional cards from the deck and put them in your hand with your pile. For positioning, maintain balance in an upright sitting position, no mobility demands. The next step is players take turns going clockwise. Starting to left, ask for cards they need to make a pair. For perception, hear conversations. See the players, which player is to your left, and the cards in your hand that are needed to make pairs. For manipulation, use the hands to hold the cards facing you to see them. For positioning, maintain balance in an upright position and none for mobility. The next step is if someone asks you for a card, give it to them if you have it. If you do not have the card, say, go fish. For perception, hear the person asking for a card and any conversations. See the person asking for a card and the numbers on the cards if you have the one they want. Manipulation, hold the cards in hand to look at the cards. Grab a card to give to the player if you have the card. If you give them a card, use hands to pick up a new card from the deck and place that card in your hands. S positioning demands, maintain balance in an upright sitting position and no mobility demands. When it is your turn, ask the player you want for the card you need to make a pair. For perception, hear conversations and see cards and match numbers <clears throat> you need to make a pair. For manipulation, hold the cards in your hands to be able to look at. For positioning, maintain balance in an upright position. There are no mobility demands. The next step is if they give you a card, make a pair. If they say, go fish, grab a card from the deck in the middle and discard the one you don't want. Here. For, per for perception, hear the conversations and go fish. See the card that is given to you. If one is, if one is. If it is, see the two cards with the same number to match them. If told to go fish, see the deck of cards to pick one up. If any matches any cards and discard pile to put in a card. For manipulation, use hands to hold the cards, grab a card from someone, and grab the two cards that match and place them on the table by you with other matches. If go fish, pick up a card from the deck and place it in hands. For positioning, maintain balance in an upright sitting position. There are no mobility demands. Um, the next step is repeat the steps until all the cards are gone. For perception, hear conversations, see all cards, piles, numbers, etc. For manipulation, use hands to hold cards, grab cards, pick up cards, and set down cards. For positioning, maintain balance in an upright position. Again, no mobility demands. The last step for this is count the, no the numbers of pairs for each player to see who won the most. For perception, hear conversations, see the numbers of matches on you, on the table by you. For manipulation, use hands to pick up matches and place them to the side while counting. For positioning, maintain balance in upright position and again, no mo mobility demands. The next step is to clean up after your game and first, put you must put the game materials back in the container. Perception or hear the teacher say it is cleanup time. See the cards and where to put them back into the container. For manipulation, use hands to pick up all the cards, straighten them into a pile, and put them back into the container. For positioning, maintain an upright position while sitting, possible leaning over while picking up all the cards. You need to stay balanced during this. There are no mobility demands. The next step is to put the game materials back on the shelf. Perception, see the game container and the shelf where the game container or materials go back to. Manipulation is use hands to pick up the container or materials, carry the container to the shelf, and place the container down on the shelf. For positioning, transition from sitting to standing, maintain balance in an upright standing position or possibly during bending over if necessary to put the materials away. For mobility, you need to walk over to the game shelf and back to the table again. Lastly, you go. The last step is go to the area for the the area for the next activity. For perception, hear the teacher say it is time for the next activity. See the area and see the area where the next activity takes place. There are no manipulation demands. For positioning, transition from standing to sitting in the next area and maintain balance in an upright position. Lastly, for mobility, you need to be able to walk from the table to the next area. These are some problems we have identified Max will be having in regards to the recreation activity. 
In regards to perception, he can hear conversations and see within five feet. He can also feel cards. Max can also see the cards split the see the cards in a split deck. He can see different piles of cards and he can see seven cards in each pile. He can also see card numbers, whether cards match and where to put the matches. He can also see when more cards are needed. Also, Max can see players, which players to the left of him, the different cards in his hands that are needed to make pairs, the people asking for cards, and the numbers on the cards. He can also hear if someone tells him to go fish. He can see cards that are given to him. If one is given to him, he can see which two cards match, and he can also see a deck of cards to pick up from or to discard in. Max can also hear his teacher say when it's time to clean up, as well as hear when it's time for the next activity. He can also see the container of where to put the cards and materials when finished and which area to go to afterwards. In regards to manipulation, Max cannot grab cards, hold them, or carry them to the table. He also cannot split the deck into halves, bridge the cards, or shuffle the cards. He can also not deal the cards to his peers, pick up and hold cards facing him, grab cards that match, or place them next to him on the table. He can also not pick up if more cards are needed and use his hands to have them face him. He can also not grab cards to give to other players, place the cards in his pile, and he cannot match cards and place cards on the table with other matches or possibly pick up cards from the deck or place them in a pile. Max can also not pick up matches or place them to the side while counting. And lastly, he cannot pick up cards, the containers, the materials, or straighten cards in, in a pile to carry them to the shelf. In regards to positioning, Max cannot balance or transition from sitting to standing. He cannot balance while standing and bending over. He cannot balance while leaning forward in a sitting position. He can also not place cards on the table in front of players. Max cannot bal maintain balance in sitting in an upright position. And then in regards to mobility, the student cannot walk. Some features that are needed in regards to perception is a feature that enhances his ability to see smaller text by enlarging the text. In regards to manipulation, he needs a feature that enhances his ability to grab materials, a feature that enhances his ability to carry them to and from the designated area, a feature that makes it easier for the, him to shuffle the cards. He also needs a feature that makes it easier for him to grab cards and make piles of seven for each player. He needs a feature that transforms holding the cards and placing pairs on the table to having a device hold the cards, allowing him to just match pairs. He needs a feature that enhances his ability to grab materials. And then in regards to positioning, he needs a feature that enhances his ability to maintain an upright position while sitting in his wheelchair. And then in regards to mobility, he needs a feature that enhances his ability to independently move his wheelchair around. This is a card holder. This tool replaces the need to grip cards in the hands by having them held for him. To use the tool, the user grabs one card at a time to place them in the card holder facing himself.
These are low vision cards. All of the numbers on the cards are enlarged. This tool enhances the user's ability to see numbers and symbols on the cards more easily. This is the automatic card shuffler. This tool replaces the need for the user to hand shuffle cards by pressing a button instead. To use this tool, the user will split the deck in half, place the cards on either side, uh, on both sides of the automatic card shuffler, press down on the button to operate the machine, and then <laughs> the user can take the shuffle cards out of the machine. These are shoulder straps that would be similar to what Max would use with his wheelchair. This tool enhances the ability to remain in an upright position. To use this feature, someone would buckle the straps like this into the correct place both above the shoulders and underneath the arms to assist the user in remaining in an upright position.